is What She Said with Kate Wheeler, Christine Bentley, and Sharon Caddy on Canada Talks. And we are welcoming on the phone a YouTuber. She's a digital lifestylist. She's a branding expert. She's a millennial mom of two. Kelly Wonderland, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Oh, our pleasure. You know, the only reason we're having you on the show. <laughs> you want to know? I do. We all want to know what in the world is our side hustle. Yeah. We I've never heard that term before. You know, I hadn't heard about that term either until <laughs> just the other week. And then I thought, I'm sure there are other people who don't know that term. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I don't feel so weird now because, <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Our listeners don't know. We're all trying to figure out. We've promised them that you're going to tell us what our side hustle is. I am. All right. So you're asking yourself, what is a side hustle? A side hustle is a way to make some extra money. Ooh. You know, most people have a nine to five job. But, hey, if you want to get out there and, quote, unquote, hustle, grab a side hustle, follow your passion. It's a way for you to pursue flexibility and still have time at night with your family. Well, I think most people, though, Kelly, they most people feel they're not making enough Mm -hmm. and they'd like to have something on the side. How do you, um, you're, you're probably suggesting this is a great way during the holiday season to make that extra that we all need to spend. But uh, how, you know, following one's passion, like how, How do you figure out what that is, like, that you could make money at? Yeah, exactly. Um, You know, so my passion, I love to write. um, And so I started blogging. I thought, well, here's something I'm passionate passionate about. I love it. And I'm kind of good at it. So why not share my thoughts with everybody else? So how did you get started? And how did you decide what your theme was going to be? What what was your blog going to be about? You know, unlike most people, I don't really stay in a quote-unquote niche. I kind of blog about everything. So mm. I'm a mom, I'm a stepmom, I'm a wife. You know, I own a magazine and then I blog. So I don't really have necessarily a niche. And I've read so many books and they say that it's okay to not have a mm. niche. And then I started looking online for things that I didn't know how to do. And I found that people were making YouTube videos, but they were like 10 minutes long. And they were talking and talking and talking. And the whole point of what I wanted to watch wasn't till the very end. So then I thought maybe I can incorporate something like 60 seconds and under. So I'm kind of like the one minute YouTuber. (laughs) Anything that I have to say, I do it in under 60 seconds. Really? I mean, you can, let's say, let's say, what are the kinds of things that you would be YouTubing about? So like how to fold a bed sheet. I can fold a bed sheet in under 30 seconds and I've got a video up and now you can do it too. Oh, I'm going to watch that one. (laughs) <laughs> like a fitted bed sheet. Yeah. And nobody knows how to do that. <laughs> how to totally, fold it or how to put it on? How to fold it. How to fold it. I'm totally watching that one because I, if you looked, I'd be ashamed to show you my linen closet because I don't fold those very well. Well, for example, an yeah. app. How do you, how do you explain sometimes an app? Like I, I have trouble signing in to my phone, never mind being able to figure out an app in a minute. That's right. So um, Kodak Moments is a good example. They came out with an app and, you know, I basically just said, this is exactly how you use it. You know, you you don't have to plug in your phone to your computer anymore. You just do everything right from your cell phone. Mm-hmm. So you open up the app, you say, I want this photo, this photo, this photo, print it in a four by six, and you're good to go. Send it off to Walgreens, send it to CVS, and go pick it up later. So how many YouTube uh, videos do you actually do, these 60 seconders? Um. I've made over a hundred of them. Wow. So, so what are your most popular ones? Um, some of my most popular ones are actually how to fold a bed sheet. (laughs) (laughs) Um, there's a website called zoomoid.com where you can actually rent wearables and camera equipment and you don't have to purchase it. So when you're done using it, you can send it back to them. Or if you want to purchase it, they'll give you a discount. That's good. Mm Mm-hmm. That's really yeah. good. But it's funny, I, you know, we, we laugh in a way about the bed sheet thing, but that's the information. People want usable, like it's sometimes it's interesting to just look at something cool. But I think most people are looking, I know I'm always looking online for a new, better, faster, more efficient way to do something that I do all the time. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm here to try to help you guys out to, you know, figure everything out and make your life easier and simpler. No. 
Where do you learn your stuff? Do people contact you with cool ideas or are you just out there all the time looking for the next cool thing? 90% of the time I'm out there looking for the next cool thing, but sometimes people will contact me and say, hey, have you heard how to do this? Or, hey, do you mm. know how to do this? Do you have a gadget, an app? And then I'll say, you know what, if someone else is asking for it, I'm sure there's another person, so let me go ahead and make a quick video. So how do you divvy up your time then between um, <clears throat> a magazine and mm-hmm. and everything else that you do? The key is so unhealthy, but it's very little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little baby. Uh, she's finally turned one, and she does not like to sleep. So when she's up at night, mommy is up at night. Well, <laughs> and least... when she's up, I'm typically working. Yeah, well, you get to make constructive use of your time, which is good. But Exactly. But, Kelly, a lot of people don't have your sort of get up and go. Like, you, you're very motivated. You seem to be fairly organized. Uh, I think you have a mind for business in in the sense of, hmm, uh, I'm looking for that. I can't find it. Maybe I'll do it, right? But for a lot of people out there, they would love to have a side hustle. Does everybody have one? Or maybe maybe some people just don't really have one. Yeah, and, you know, some people don't have one, and that's okay, too. You know, my advice for them is to think about what they love doing and if there is a way to incorporate incorporate making money by doing that, figure it out. You know, maybe there's plenty of ways that you can hire, like, virtual assistants, ask your friends, ask your parents, ask your spouses. You know, is this something that I could turn into a passion? Um, I have a friend who actually loves writing on coffee cups. And so she just reached out to Etsy and said, hey, is there a way I can maybe put up my coffee cup? And she opened up her own shop. And she just got a big order of 82 cups, and now she gets to color on all of them, and she's going to make money off it. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, I think people need a little courage, right? Uh, exactly. we, actually had, I mean, we actually had a Canadian woman in here who, who crochets, crochets hats, the yeah. most beautiful hats. And just for fun, she, she put them up on Etsy. And somebody contacted her, and she actually filled the gift bags for the Golden, Golden Globes. Globes. And yeah. that's how she oh got started. Um, so amazing. take a chance. Take a chance. Yes. Put it up and see. And somebody was leafing through and went, ooh, I like this. Let's do this. <laughs> you know? So, oh, yeah. That is wonderful. That is such a great success story. And that is what people want to hear. Exactly that. Exactly. Now, we understand you have also uh, a, some really good general holiday gift ideas for moms. I do. You know, both moms and dads are not that hard to shop for, but sometimes dads need a little bit of extra push or some help. And Mm -hmm. so I've kind of just put together a general, you know, holiday gift guide for moms, for wives, for stepmoms, just for the everyday woman. Okay. So? And so the first thing on my list, of course, is a spa day, because what mom doesn't want some peace and quiet? You got that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. A good, a good massage, a good facial, you know, and more importantly, just some time to yourself to detox and relax. Yep. That's a winner. That's a winner. <clears throat> uh, the mom who got a fridge last year for her birthday or, 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 or Christmas, <laughs> it wasn't me, but it was a neighbor mm-hmm. who did not appreciate the fact that the family fridge oh. was her gift. She, oh, she would love this, a spa day. Yes. And, you know, if you're on a tight budget, go to Amazon.com and order some bath salts. I use Village Natural Therapy, and I think they're like $11. But you can actually smell the salt and you can feel it working while you're just sitting in there trying to relax, having a glass of wine. Like you mentioned, not terribly expensive, but that's like an affordable luxury. Because is there anything that feels more luxurious than a bath with salts like that? It's fabulous. Exactly. So if you can't go to a spa, bring the spa to yourself. Light some candles, have some peace and quiet. And, you know, for $11, you've got yourself covered. Sounds good. What else have you got? There, I don't, I don't know what woman is not on her cell phone, whether checking email, <laughs> checking the daycare, checking in with family. There is a little device called the Jackery, mm-hmm. and they make very stylish chargers that you can just throw in your purse. It's a literally a portable charger on the go, and you don't have to search for an outlet. Yes, um, that is an amazing tool. Why is this one better than other ones? Because we, you know, we see these little things that you can charge up and then carry it in your purse. 
Um, I know my my daughter is constantly sort of at 5% when I'm talking to her, and it goes, right? Yeah. And my son's exactly. the same. And, of course, I have my my thing plugged into my car, so when I get in, I, I charge it. But some people aren't that organized. What's so great about Jackery? You know, Jackery makes a variety of sizes with uh. different millions in them. So, you know, you've got the very slim one that's no bigger than a tube of lipstick. So if you're just needing to have a quick charge throughout the day, grab that one. All the way to the Titan, which is the biggest one they have in it, that's got 18,000 million charging oh. power. That could keep you charged up for an entire week if you're mm. gone. Right. That sounds good. But you have yeah, to charge the Jackery. That's the problem, of course. Right? Yeah, the Jackery just you plug it into your computer and you charge it. So you could sit. I mean, it charges very fast. So just plug it in at night and you're good to go. Yeah, and I'm just looking at them. They're pretty affordable too. They've they've even got my favorite. I've got one of these charging cases, um, mm -hmm. and that that's the best thing. What a charging case, Morphe? Yeah, Morphe? No, a Jackery. Yes. Oh. Jackery has a, a charging case, and you can just stick your phone in there, so you don't have to have anything hanging off it. And you can just, when it gets down to almost zero, you just hit the button on the back, and it starts charging your phone back up again. It's a great thing. <laughs> What's number exactly. four? It charges several things. Oh, yeah. You know, so number four for me would be the GoPro Hero 4. The mm -hmm. GoPro, I mean, you never know when you're going to want to film something, and the GoPro is so small, you can throw it in your pocket, throw it in your purse, and I've been in several situations where I thought, this is exactly when I need a camera. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you're not, like your iPhone, it's great, but you kind of want higher quality footage or you want footage that you can throw up on YouTube. I just love the GoPro. I'm a huge fan of it, and I think it's perfect to just toss in your purse and go. That way you can be on your cell phone and still film at the same time. Mm-hmm. And for the and more then, personal, we've got the perfume. That's right. You know, guys and kids out there, if you're old enough to read the labels, read the labels and then go buy your mom or stepmom some perfume. Mm -hmm. You know what they like. You know what they smell like. You know, go ahead and get them that. They, the perfume is always such a great gift. Yeah. And then if you're artsy and you're crafty and you want to do something, Grab, you know, the first letter of your name, print out some black and white photos, you know, paint, you can paint a, it's called a letter monogram. Mm -hmm. And I painted mine pink. And then I just printed out um, black and white photos of my daughter. And I did the letter A for Avery. And it's oh, nice. a really cute gift. Oh, that's wonderful. And I believe the picture is on your website. And, you know, it's just, it's a really nice, memorable thing. So dads, kids do that for, you know, the mom in your life. Beautiful. And so if people want to check out you, what you do, and, you, and all your YouTube, your side hustle, yeah, <laughs> where are we sending them? Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Kelly Wonderland or just Kelly Wonderland.com, my website. Very good. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. Thank you so much for having me. It was honestly a true honor. Aw, and Sharon and I just know that for the rest of the day, we'll be in between everything else thinking, Hmm, wonder what my side hustle is. I know. <laughs> is, I love that term. How to fold that bed sheet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am so going there. You know it. <laughs> and now you need to do a pack, a packing, a properly packing one. If you can do that oh in God. 60 seconds, that'll be great. That's actually next on my list. My husband there, and I oh. were just talking. I am definitely the overpacker, though. So. Okay, I'm an overpacker, too, so I need to see your YouTube on that. Awesome. Thank All you. Right. Kelly Wonder, thank you so much for joining us. And we still have more to come, so don't go away. This is what she said on Sirius XM 167 Canada Talks.